Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. If you look at the architecture, uh, this is Vault. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here, first thing, uh, how do you get inside? And this is the user. And they are using Vault Client API or whatever I talk about it. So they will get it here. So first thing, authentications. So authentications, three authentication we discuss. One is password, a token, default one. Token based authentication, yes. Password and user, based. user role, role based. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Three authentication. After that, once you get it, then we have a policies. Policies uh, is also inbuilt as part of Vault. And uh, policies, which is the one upcoming topic, I'll discuss about it. Okay. And after that, once you get into that, then we have a secret engine. Now, this secret engine is the place where the secret is being stored. So, some of the secret engine is like inbuilt in the vault, which is key and value. Okay. One of the secret engine is built in. Now, this can be some third party application like console also or AWS also. Okay. So, mm -hmm. these are the things which we have. So, now when you say what are the services we need to start. So first thing you need to decide what authentication system you want for the user and you have to enable it and tune it. Then second thing you need to decide where you are going to store the secret engine. Some of them you find inbuilt, some of them are external. And this secret engine, if it is external, you have to register at vault. Different different steps for different different engine. And then finally, you have to decide the row policies, which user will have what kind of policies. So for the production, primarily you have to work on this. Dev mode, what exactly is happening? Dev mode, this one is not persisted. Persisted means it is, this is stored in the memory for ease of work. Get, getting my points? Yeah, any changes made in dev mode uh, will be, uh, gone after restarting right yeah so for the production you have to decide these three factors uh, what auth what storage and rest of the things will remain same. okay yeah more questions oh yeah so I have uh, a bit new. So I have a quick this thing as well. Uh, so in the legacy uh, PAM applications, like if you see like Cyberarc or Beyond Trust, users uh, privileged accounts which are stored in their vault, right? So okay. they will not allow user to see the credential. They will type. They they will provide a transparent kind of RDP connection uh, from mm -hmm. their box or from their box directly. So is HashiCorp Vault having that kind of future? No, no. This call is uh, done through the API or command line or uh, third one UI. Now these three users is having access. They can access the as per the policy set it, and they can access all this stuff. Okay. So what about the secret? So if I, if I am, if I am a user, I am using a command line or user interface to, to uh, uh, to see my secret, right? So, mm -hmm. how about the vanity of that? Can we change the secret after using it? Or uh, uh, can we rotate those kind of yeah. passwords? Few, uh, so UI is still at evolving stage. F using UI, you can change some of the secret engine type. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm not able to recall which are supported for UI and which are not. But key value is supported for that. You can change this. But 
for command line and API, you can do everything. You can change the password uh, for every usage. Yeah, yeah. If you if you have logged in and policies allowing, you can do that. Okay. So what? Not about the human login. So how about the service accounts uh, login? So we we have uh, non-human interactive accounts, right? Uh, which are created in a domain or in some AWS or somewhere, the service accounts. So those passwords are utilized in some scripts or some automation or something like that. So if mm -hmm. we are uh, able to keep those passwords in HashiCorp Vault and if, it rotate, if we rotate the password, does HashiCorp Vault have a capability to update the password over that scripts and automation? Password? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this can automatically change the password, uh, dynamic password that we call it, dynamic password. Yeah, that's possible. Okay, okay, got it. Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay, so this is one when I'm trying to log in by using the token, uh, I got this authentication failure, but this token is still valid and the services are still running on the vault. Mm. Refresh that. Oh no, these are the screenshots. I took the screenshots uh, when I'm doing this lab on drill. So okay. this is this will this will not happen. This will not happen. Uh, maybe some confusion. So do one thing. Uh, maybe uh, it might have stopped the server vault in dev mode. And you might have started it, so token got changed. No, no. Uh, so this one I violated. It is still running. So I, I even checked the services. Uh, it says vault status is true. Uh, so when I re restarted the vault, it gave me a new token. Then I am able to log in. Ha. Huh. I mean, this will not happen. Um, some confusion here and there because I am I'm I'm very much sure if the token you have uh, noted down correctly and if the same server is running it will accept it okay uh, because it's a product not used by us right millions of people are using in the organization this is a this is a fundamental issues actually okay I'm getting another error while I'm logging by using the PowerShell script. Uh, can you just uh, make it zoom this one? Yeah. So here, error auth and I'm going to pass to auth. Please view the full help. Uh, so here token is not passed properly. It says actually token is not passed and then you created a new token yeah. okay so you are logged in actually already that's the reason you are able to run vault all list then again you try to log in then that is didn't work token must be passed to what so you do not pass the token actually in the second situation third situation because you logged in already you were able to create another token actually but this token you'll be able to log in but you'll not have any access because uh, policies has to be updated accordingly okay. okay so this one is uh, user creation via powershell script so we are able to create the user uh, with the comments yeah uh, but the this question is help. Yeah. So, uh, what is this uh, complete screen? Login user users. It's, so they give you the help file. What are the options available for for that uh, user pass method? There is authentication method which is user pass. What you can do? So you have options uh, to log in. Uh, with username you have options to list out the users users you can reset the password so that is a format actually the api okay. format hmm. okay and last one update the policies and stuff like that so these are the help you can say 
and this why this is a path pathways means uh, vault works on the pathways so every functionality uh, every functionality you have at certain path so if you don't go to that path those functionality you will not be able to use it for example the path for login is login and then slash username after that again slash password okay and ending with it dollar sign means end uh, then for managing users allowed for authentication then you have a users and if you want to pass the username then you can do that reset password so users username and slash password you have to say so then you can reset the password you want to update the policy associated with the username so users username and then slash policies so you can update the users policies accordingly so okay. everything is path path based here okay 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 if you just type users you will get the manage users allowed to authenticate which are the users okay so every every time when you use a path help you will get the path based got it okay I think these are the only uh, issues. Oh, the, you are referring to these commands, right? Path and yeah, yeah. user yeah. path. These are the path, yeah. So here oh, users and then something means username. Okay. And role, something means role name. Okay. What do you want? Okay. Have any issues with our channel membership? You can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.